Hello Vlogmas Day 2. So let's go open our advent calendar and see which mini Funko Pop we got today. So in number two, let's see who we've got today. It is... Who's it going to be? Goofy! Is that Goofy? Santa Goofy! So now we have a little Santa Goofy to go with our Santa Mickey. Yay! So I've got the dentist later today at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of speaking this morning because it actually hurts to talk. I'm trying to speak as little as possible and it is almost impossible to eat because just chewing makes it hurt so bad, talking makes it hurt. So that's not good. I'm ho really hoping... Um, that they can sort it today and get the pain gone. Even if the tooth has to stay in till next week, as long as the pain is gone, just please get rid of the pain. It's just constant throbbing pain. Ugh. Well, that's my downer for today. Um, <laughs> in more happier news, got that little goofy Christmas Funko, so that's nice. And yeah, we'll just see what we get up to today. Hopefully if I'm feeling good after the dentist, I might pop down to the shop or something because we're running out of food. And then I can have a big lunch. Are you ready for day two of your advent calendar? <laughs> Let's find number two. Let's find number two. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got another square. A square, a square, the same as yesterday, Talon. Ready? Oh. oh, happy December second. <laughs> Is it yummy? Then it's gone already. Just gonna fold some clean washing. <laughs> This is my um, where my clothes go when I get them out of washing. I dry the clothes, go on this chair, and now we've got to fold them. Don't know if you're interested, but uh, let's do a time lapse of me folding the clothes. I did it. I done the dentist. I did it. I, I did it. I done my phobia of the dentist and I had my nerve chopped off. <laughs> I'm just my mouth. It's just speaking a bit funny. <laughs> I can't blow up my cheeks with air. It's still a bit numb. It's been um, it's now five. I had my appointment at two and it's almost, the numbing's almost gone. So about three hours take the numbing off and then I can eat. But I done it. I done it. I had the injections and then she drilled. She, what she basically did is drilled through the tooth, drilled through a bit of the gum, and then just drilled through the nerve. She snapped the nerve in half with the drill. And I couldn't feel it. It was just the very last bit where she snapped the nerve that I felt a little bit. But it was so quick it was fine. And now I don't have agony pain anymore. I don't have the pain in my head, in my jaw, my tooth. There's no agony pain. It's just a little bit sore from where, um, it's just a bit sore because part of the tooth well, came out yesterday. So it is a bit sore and it still hurts a little bit to chomp on it because, well, it's sore. But I haven't got the pain. I haven't got the pain. Hallelujah. And oh, I'm out of pain. And she said, hopefully next week she can fit me in to have it out. If not, it'll be, um, in a few weeks time but she said i shouldn't have any pain anymore yay no pain i can't feel before i couldn't feel the whole half of this lip and like all around here and i got my lip back but it's just this, this bit is a bit numb <laughs> but I just come out to the shops to get some snacks i'm gonna have a good dinner tonight it's absolutely great that the agony pain is gone like i'm not in agony pain anymore the only thing is because i'm my tooth is still really sore Every time I bite on it, it hurts. Only like a split, like, ah. But that means I can't eat anything, like, too... Well, I can't eat a lot. <laughs> so that big dinner that I had in mind is going to have to wait. I'm going to have to have, like, soup or 
mashed potatoes or I don't know something that I don't have to chew too much because otherwise the teeth are going to bang together and hurt but I'm glad the pain's gone I'm glad the pain's gone I actually took um I bought my dentist a present because she um saw me in her lunch break yesterday which she didn't have to do and she was really encouraging kind to me today so I went back after I had the work done I took her some chocolates and a plant and that and a thank you card because I just think she's the best dentist ever yeah but um it's still a little bit funny so soft foods only let's go find some like mashed potato or soup i think it's just because i had the tooth kind of half removed yesterday it feels um sore because of that because there's only half in there so hopefully in a few days time the soreness should go away and i should be able to eat normal because i went with the pain it's just soreness but for now, I don't know. I don't know if I want soup or mashed potato or something else. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to give you a little as the whole lot. I got potatoes for mashed potatoes. And I'm going to do some carrots and like make them really soft. And peas or something. They can, they're squidgy, aren't they? Yeah, that sounds good. And then I've got some little tomatoes. I thought I could have, try and have a sandwich tomorrow. But we'll see because they seem like sandwiches you have to kind of chew a lot don't you but we'll see i found these little alpro vanilla desserts things i don't know i've not tried those before i tried a chocolate one once and that was nice they're vanilla so hopefully they're nice too and i got this i think these are new look four pack of strawberry soya yogurts so um that is me for the next few days eating um eating squidgy baby foods basically so um any ideas for what i can eat the next few days please let me know <laughs> mum just said she's got me a surprise present because i done well at the dentist mum it was supposed to be for christmas it's supposed mom. to be for christmas but she said i done so well at the dentist i get an early christmas present what is it oh here it is let's have a look what's inside What's that? <laughs> what is that? It's a magic band. It's like a magic band readable. Does it light up? Mm hmm How? Did I turn it on? I'm not sure. Ooh. Nah. Oh, I've done it. Okay. I your reaction. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh, oh, okay, the battery was in the wrong way. The battery was in the wrong way. I've just switched the batteries around. And, come on, are you ready for this? Look, it's like a magic band reader that you put in Florida. In Disney World, you put your magic bands up against it and then it lights green. Are you ready for this? Ready? How did I just do it? Ah! Ta-da! <laughs> really cool <laughs> thank you that's okay you could choose all different colors but that's every time you go through i'm pretty sure that the mm -hmm. the platform is silver isn't it let's get my magic bag here we go <laughs> <laughs> my magic band paper chain <laughs> right are you ready for this i'm going to try out my new magic band machine beep <laughs> we get into the park <laughs> put it on the christmas tree yeah that's so fun hey doodle doodle that doodle that it's a magic band reader it's a christmas tree let's turn the lights off Let's put our magic band on the tree. Should we light it up first? Should we light it up green? Where should I put it? Should we put it like somewhere up here? Oh, let's put it up here, look. Ta -da! Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> look. Ta-da! Here it is on the tree. 
my very own Disney Magic Band reader right at the top of the tree. Look at that. Lovely. And that is by, what is it? We are, Desti we are Disco Yeti. Yeti. We are Disco Yeti on Etsy. I'll link it in the description down below. But how fun is that? Love it. Thanks, Mum. That's okay. Max, do you want to fill up your Christmas treat jar? You can get help me to help you do it. Do you want to help? Dada. This is a little um, Christmas treat jar I got for Max. I got it in, um, was it TK Maxx or HomeSense? It was TK Maxx this one, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, I got this in TK Maxx and it was 5 dollars It's made of glass and it has like a wooden lid with a little paw print. But look, the Christmas trees are made of bones and paw prints. So we did get fill up his Christmas treat jar with treats. <laughs> so I've got my little helper. He always likes to um, fill up the treat jar with me, did not you? And one hungry treat loving duty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a jar and the treats we've got in them are, we've got three different kinds. I don't know if they'll fit. Excuse me. We've got these ones. These are pedigree tasty mini turkey flavored chunks. We've got these wag treats, which are turkey stuffing and gravy. And then I got these ones at the Norfolk Showground um, Christmas Fair. And these are by Dog Only Knows. I'll leave their link in the description down below because they have a little online website. So we're going to put those in our little jar. Bah. Yep. <laughs> right, let's have a little look, shall we? Yeah. They're not for you now, Max. Not yet. Yeah. Let's open the packets first. Hang on. Wait a minute. One more. There is one more, yeah. Right, I'll pass you the treats and then you can put them in the jar. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, I'll pass them to you. I don't want all the same kind of treats. Right, put one of these big paws at the bottom. These are peanut butter flavoured, by the way. The little peanut butter paws, mm. they're really nice. Mm. Put some of these in. That's it. We'll lift it up. And some of these they're all gonna fit let's sit them on the floor and then we can put them all in can't we they're not all for you mister i've just dipped them all out to fit in the jar and max is just here waiting for them <laughs> wow Iggy, you're doing well let's leave some of these big biscuits at the top though okay ready some of those pop them in that's it some of these very nice Another biscuit. Boop. And then we'll put some of these in. And then you can put this one on the top. <laughs> Yay! Oh. oh, you can put them in them too, are you? Do you want to give Doggy a treat first? Yeah. Do you want to give him one? Which one shall he eat? No, you don't help yourself. Mama. You want to give him the peanut butter? <gasps> <laughs> is it nice peanut butter biscuit paw he eats treats so quick so quick <laughs> can we shut the lid now you put the lid on put the lid on the jar that's it well done <laughs> show you these as well i picked these up at a charity shop the day before yesterday but i forgot to show them on yesterday's vlog I picked up these uh, two little cute Christmas rocking horses and they were 75p each, which I thought was really good. They're just like got little instruments on their back and like presents down the bottom and things. Excuse me. But they were, um, excuse me. Okay. But these um, were 75p each. Like you couldn't even get them in Poundland. I mean, most of the stuff in Poundland isn't really even a pound anymore, which is annoying. But yeah, anyway, I absolutely love these two little rocking horses. I don't know if they're like any particular brand. They don't have any markings or anything on them. I just thought they were so cute and pretty. So I'm going to go stand them up somewhere. 75p, cute little horses. I love like carousel horses and rocking horses. They're lovely. So see you later. Let's do the bunny advent calendars. They're looking for number two. Yeah, yeah it's in there. Mommy. Oh, we've got another bell today. Are they all bell shapes? Oh, the bell shapes have come in different colours too, look. Can't remember what colour bell we got yesterday now. 
And then I'm going to open this one as well. It's the same as this mm -hmm. one, just going with a bell. Oh no, it's not. This one's a tree. They're different. I thought they'd be the same, but one has a bell and one is a tree. So this is what remains of the cardboard gingerbread house. Not very much of it has been flattened. <laughs> popcorn, do you want the tree or the bell? Bell. Oh, Popcorn wants the tree. So you, Willow, get the bell. There you go. Oh. Two happy bunnies. <laughs> So I've just picked up a couple of bits from Amazon and I thought I'd just share you, ready for my December adventures. So I got this, which is a little portable power bank because I film on my phone at the minute, I don't have a camera. Um, so I thought when I go around doing all my days out in December, this is going to be really handy because if I'm filming a lot on my phone, it might run out of charge. And this, I can just top it back up and we can continue our vlogmas days. And this one's really cute because look, it has a little paw print on it and the actual power bank the paw print is like if it's fully lit it means the power bank has full charge and when it runs out of charge on the power bank like the paw prints disappear and when the paw print is like not there anymore it means you need to charge up the power bank and i just thought it was really cute because it reminded me of my pets <laughs> i'm gonna open it up and show you what it looks like inside so here is the portable power bank. It feels really smooth. I don't know if that's like a thing, but it feels really smooth and nice. So that's good. It like doesn't feel like normal portable power banks. Like it's just really smooth, but um, it's got the cute little power paw print. Um, and then it's got two USB ports, a USC port and a little torch. So on the side here, the little button, you double click it and the torch come on and then you double click it and it turns off and then as you can see this is lit up it needs a little bit of charge by the looks of things so it needs a little bit of charge because one of the paw prints are out but that means it has four bars of charge and one's out so 80 percent charge and then i guess to turn it off you just hold the button do you yeah just hold the button and it turn off that's good i just need to check it works obviously before i take it out on the days out comes with the um little charger for it comes with this little nifty bag and then the second thing that i got is this it's a little gopro mount for your wrist because we're going to a few exciting places in december for vlogmas well not for vlogmas but they will be in vlogmas and i thought it would be fun to have a little wrist strap so you put it on there don't know entirely how it works yet. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but it's a little GoPro wrist strap. Put your GoPro on there. And when we're going on roller coasters or doing like exciting things, you can just kind of hold it up and you can have the GoPro there. If you like, say you're going on a roller coaster, you don't want to hold your phone on the roller coaster in case you drop it. You attach your GoPro to this and then you can just hold it out, hold out your arm like that. And you can have the GoPro on it that's exciting i'm going um somewhere on sunday where there's going to be some roller coasters and ice skating so i'm really excited for that and this will come in very handy to film ice skating and roller coasters so i got this little gopro strap don't know what this is for though why is this like this i'll figure it out <laughs> you may call me chloe claws i've got my santa hat on but i'm not santa i'm chloe I'm Chloe Claus. <laughs> I'm doing something really exciting tomorrow. So I can tell you because it's not going up tomorrow and it would have already happened. I am going to surprise my nanny at her house. Um, one of my nannies lives down here near me and the other one lives not far out of London. So I don't see her very often. And she's not coming down for this Christmas. She's spending Christmas where she lives this time because she came down last year here so she doesn't think she's going to see me before christmas but little does she know tomorrow i am going to turn up at her house and surprise her and she doesn't know so i'm just going to turn up ring the doorbell surprise it's me <laughs> and i'm going to have a little early christmas with her so 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna wrap her presents up so I can take them with me. And yeah, we're gonna go surprise Nanny tomorrow. And I've never been to her house um, before because I'm a bit um, anxious about going new places and going far away. So I haven't been down there yet. She only moved recently. So it'll be really nice to see where she lives, but I just so excited to surprise her. I'm gonna go surprise her and she doesn't know that I'm there. So let's wrap her present. So what I've got is this little like hamper. It's like this little wicker basket hamper thing. It's a hamper set. So you get the basket and there's like this like kind of straw kind of stuff in the bottom. And then you get like the little, the little bag and like ribbon and stuff. So I've got one of those and I've just got her like some bits and bobs that I think she'll like. And I'm just gonna like wrap them up and put them in the hamper. And yeah, it'll be exciting. I'll just show you what I've got her and then we'll wrap them up. So, I don't know if she's going to open the presents tomorrow with me or wait to open them till Christmas. So, Nanny, if you are watching this video and you haven't opened the presents yet and you're saving them for Christmas, click off the video now. Do not watch any further because I'm about to show your presents and it will ruin the surprise. <laughs> I'll give you a minute. Turn off that video, don't want you peeking. Okay, let's continue. So the first thing I got here is this little whiteboard and pen set. And I thought it'd be really nice. It's like magnetic. So I thought it'd be a good idea. It's a big magnetic board. You can stick it to her fridge. And then on here you have the shopping list, a to-do list and reminders. But it's like a whiteboard. So you can stick on the fridge, write down stuff, whatever you want for the week, and then you can just erase it and start again. And I thought she'd like that. I thought it was really yeah. handy. I got her this Love Heart shower gel because I love her. I've got her, I also got her these bars of soap. It's just two bars of Dove soap. Very nice. Her, one of her favourite chocolates, which is these little art rates, but I found them in this fun little tube, a little mini tube this year. Then I got her this candle. It is by Victoria Meredith in Blueberry Muffin. And it smells amazing. This smells so good. So I got that candle. And then I also got her this little, um, what are they called, reed diffusers? So I got her this little reed diffuser and this is in fresh cotton and I know she really likes these things with sticks because I got her one um, a few times before and she loves them so this one's a fresh cotton. I got her this little packet of tissues because I just thought it was fun, a little polka dot packet, I thought it was quite sweet so packet of tissues, they're always handy. And then I also got her this little hand sanitizer, it is Sweet Bloom. And it's like got a little keychain on it so you can put it on her bag or her keys or whatever. Have a little hand soap with her. Bye -bye. Then I got her these, which is kind of a strange present. It's a pack of three microfiber cloths, <laughs> um, which is kind of strange, but also really useful. Like I use microfiber cloths all the time. You can use them for all sorts, cleaning, dusting, I don't know, all sorts. You can use them for all sorts. And these aren't just like those cheap, like kind of like yellow ones. This one is fun. It's got a blue one with daisies. It's got a yellow one with polka dots and a purple one. And I just thought they'd be really useful and they're pretty. And then the last thing that I got her is this. It's a little lavender pillow spray. <laughs> and the last thing I got her is this pillow spray. Um, it's a lavender pillow spray, just like it says lavender essential oils. And I've had this before and it's really good. And she sometimes struggled to sleep. So I thought a little relaxing lavender pillow spray would be perfect to help her with her sleep. So this is amazing. I've tried this before. Land of Nod pillow spray. I also get um, a different brand one as well, but they both smell amazing and she'll love it. So that's all the presents I got here. So I'm just gonna now wrap them up and put them in the hamper all nicely. Um, I got these Christmas cards as well. I got these from Tesco's. Um, it's a pack of, how many in here? 20. You get Mickey, Minnie, Pluto and Donald. So I'll write her one of those out as well. I haven't decided what character yet. 
Oh, and also before I start wrapping, I'll show you this paper that I got this year. I got this in Primark and it's red with like Mickeys and snowflakes and candy canes. And it was £1.80 for 10 metres. So that's a really good price. And I like it because it's not in plastic. It's got like these paper things instead. Nice. <laughs> concerned about is that it comes with ribbon instructions i thought you just kind of wrapped it round tie in a bow this is like full-on instruction but first things first let's get the presents nicely into the hamper <laughs> Attempt up the car. Uh, now we've just got to put the plastic around it and the ribbon if we can figure out how to do these ribbon instructions. But first things first, let's do this. Why is this more confusing than it should be? <laughs> Which way am I supposed to put it in the hamper? Like that way? Or that way? Why am I not understanding? <laughs> It's not like doing it the sides. What? Why is it this working? It's like, it's like leaving big gaps at the side. You know what it was? It was me. Look. Me. It's folded in half again. And I didn't realize. So it's gonna double in size. This plastic is awful. I think this plastic is so cheap, it just keeps ripping and now it's ripped in like 10 different places and it's unusable. I guess that's what I get for getting cheap plastic, eh? It just ripped so much, it couldn't even hold the basket. And it just ripped here, ripped there, ripped everywhere. So um, let's think of another idea. So I've decided I'm just gonna leave it like this. I've rearranged the things in there slightly so it looks better, but yeah. I think I'm just going to leave it in the basket with like all the presents like this. It still looks really pretty and yeah, I think it looks good. It looks festive. Look at all those Santa Mickeys. Lovely. And a nice little basket. I think she'll like it like this anyway. Oops. Get back in there present. <laughs> Ta-da! So I think this is where I'm going to leave it for Vlogmas Day 2. So I will see you for Vlogmas Day 3 tomorrow for um, surprising my nanny for Christmas. I'm so excited. <laughs>